I used to do operations on my sister's teddy bears, like transplants. One time I put a travel alarm clock into one teddy bear and my sister thought it was a bomb. She saw a movie where they dropped the bomb into the ocean to keep it from exploding and wiping out the city's population. So she drowned the ticking teddy bear in the bathtub to keep it from blowing up the house. Another time I put a dead roach into one of her little stuffed dogs except that the roach that I thought was dead wasn't really dead. And it came crawling out of a hole in the dog's butt while my sister was having a tea party with the stuffed dog as the guest of honor. You can imagine how quickly the tea party came to an end when the roach crawled out of the dog's butt and onto a big plate full of Chips Ahoy cookies. After a while, doing surgery on stuffed dogs lost its appeal and I began cutting open other things, all kinds of things, even myself. Did you hear about that guy in Charleston? He shot up a black church. Motherfucker killed nine people last night. Nine black people at a fucking prayer meeting. They let him in. I can't get over that. They welcomed him into their space. They embraced him, loved him in that Christian way. They were concerned for his soul and he shot them. I mean, what the fuck? You want to know the other thing? I can't. The other thing that makes absolutely no sense to me? The photos. Have you seen them? They're still praying. Heads bowed. Hands clasped. They invite this man into their church and he kills them, feels justified in killing them. And what do they do? They fucking pray. I would like to call on the leniency of the jury, not because I didn't know what I was doing, I knew what I was doing, although Please keep in mind that it wasn't actually me who killed Dave. I just helped with the kidnapping. I may be an accessory to murder, but a minor accessory. Like, what's a minor accessory? It's true, I helped keep him hostage, but I had good reason for all of my actions. Revenge. Revenge is, I believe, a good reason to do things. It may get you arrested, but it is my hope that you, my peers, will understand and appreciate the importance of revenge and will be lenient on me. Because at the end of the day, all of my actions were motivated by revenge. When you take away a man's ability to support himself, don't you expect him to fight back? And so I did. Murder may have been too strong of a way to fight back, but it is my hope that you will understand my impulses. If not, the severity of my actions. But I was trapped. The system is against us. That much is clear. It is against you whether or not you break the law. It is just against you. And I think this is bad for a system. Thank you. Please be lenient. Thanks. You call me that? You whom I lay down my life for? I'm no slacker when I hear the real call of duty. Shall I desert the cause that needs me? You, sister home for a fancied glory? Am I to take up the cause of a lot of kings and politicians who play with men's souls as if they are cards? Dealing them out a hand here in the Psalm, a hand there in Palestine, a hand there in Russia, a hand there in the Alps. And because the cards don't match well, call it a misdeal. Gather them up, 
throw them in the discard and call for a new deal of a million human suffering souls? And I must be the deuce of spades?